OD compressor, 280, and the Overdrive preamp, 250. Uh, these are very affordable pedals now, and uh, I should fill in a little bit about the back the backstory behind DOD. They were a pedal manufacturer in the 80s and 90s. They're probably pretty well known to a lot of the audience here, I think. Um, and they went bankrupt, uh, didn't produce anything for a while, and then they were bought by Harman Audio back in like 2014 or 15. Harman Audio also owns like JBL and Digitech as well, um, but they wanted them to produce pedals again. So they came up with a couple new designs and put out a ton of pedals, a lot of stuff all at once. And I think uh, the marketing on it just wasn't quite right or they were priced a little bit too high for uh, what people had remembered DoD representing as far as quality and, and, and pedals go. Um, but we ended up with a lot of guitar pedals that sound great and when Harmon Audio decided to close down the production of DoD only a couple of years later, we ended up with a huge surplus of pedals that they're offering frequently at heavily discounted prices. So like, I think they stopped producing in like 2018. You might remember a video I did, uh, I've been watching this channel. Last year I did it on the Bone Shaker and I had gotten this in 2018. Didn't really use it, I think it was marketed to the wrong crowd. It has a great low gain tone on it and anyway, the, that's all in the other video. Uh, but I got that one for 30 bucks and then uh, eventually I saw these advertised somewhere on the internet as coming as a pair for like 80 bucks. So I thought I'd try it again, and I really dig it. The compressor's nice, but the overdrive is really special, I think. I love how simple it is. It's just a gain and a level control. There's no tone on it, so it's just very much like a, a set and forget pedal. It's It's got one or two different sounds in it, but that's it. The compressor is also a very simple pedal, just a comp knob and a level knob. I'm gonna be demoing them in this video, just giving you a couple playing samples and showing you what you can get out of it. Uh, but the motto of this video is, and, and why I wanted to make it, is just to let you know what's happening with DoD. They still have a ton of pedals. I see advertisements all the time, and maybe it's gone by the time this video comes out, but lately I've been seeing advertisements for their phaser pedal. It's just a one knob phaser, and I think they're selling it for like $40. This is pedals that they'd originally priced at like $150 or $200 in that range, and uh, they sound great. They don't sound any less great just because they're cheap now or discontinued. Uh, so maybe consider checking that out. I'm going to leave a link to the Harman Audio website. I suggest saving it as a favorites tab on your, on your browser or something. Just check it out every, every now and then, see if they have a, a deal on a pedal that you might be interested in. Uh, but anyway, let's listen to these two, see what they sound like. I'm going to be playing them through my Quilter Tone Block 201, which is a really nice solid state head. It's a little bit like a modeling amp in the sense that it's got a couple different modes uh, made to emulate different Fender style like tweed type amps or blackface deluxes. And it's a, honestly, it's a really nice amp. I think the, the, the word modeling gets a bad rep, uh, but it's solid state and I, I really like it. So I'm just gonna play these two pedals and that amp. That's all you're gonna hear. I might add like a little bit of reverb or delay once I edit it down in, in post-production.
have it the DoD compressor 280 and the overdrive preamp 250 let me know what you thought about it I really dig both these pedals and I'm glad I got them for how much they cost uh, again go check out the Harman audio website if you haven't yet and see if there's anything on sale there currently they've been selling these pedals they have a surplus and they've been putting them out very gradually I think trying to get rid of the, the overstock over the last like two years so chances are by the time you're watching this video they're still selling stuff uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscription button if you feel so inclined, and maybe share with a friend if you know someone that might dig this video too. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you in the next one.